What's the matter, boy? You never passed on a free meal before. Suit yourself, then. So, I heard you made quite a name for yourself fighting on the other side of the world. <laughs> so the question is, why'd you come back? I told you already, I was out of competition. Ugh. That doesn't say much for the other side of the world, then. Time has changed a whole lot of things about me since then, Dopo. Four years of experience has made me ten times the fighter I was when I left this place. Your stupid dojo wouldn't even let us hit each other in the face. How does that train you for what's out there? You know, if you stick your finger in somebody's eye sockets, it's very warm. <laughs> You're right, Kato. You are enlightened. This is stupid. You've done nothing but waste my time today, you know. You don't have the will to be a fighter anymore. Or the guts, for that matter. You're just a poor facsimile of me anyway. I'm sorry, did I offend you? <sighs> if you care to dispute my claim, you can always feel free to try to prove me wrong. Name a time! Any time! <laughs> Tactics won't work on me. So it's warm, huh? Seems your opinion of yourself exceeds your ability. There are moves out there that are hidden, you know. Moves that you couldn't learn in any classroom. The types of fighters that fight in the underground circuit use them habitually. It's a good place for a young fighter like you to get killed. That's crap! I'm serious, Kato. This stuff has real stakes. There's no law in the underground. Anything goes. Even assassination moves are legal. They're applauded even. But if you survive, you'll learn more in weeks than you have in a whole lifetime. What's the matter, boy? You're shaking. I like it. Hmm. I figured you'd say that. Come with me to the arena tonight.